video game that I am reviewing first is the Technomancer. First category we have up is story. You play as Zachariah Manser slash rogue, and you are what is known as a Technomancer. You are essentially mage on Mars, and your job is to help keep the peace for the corporations that are running Mars. Eventually, your story becomes that of how to eventually contact Earth. And I'm just going to leave the overall story at that. The choices you make along the way, the people you meet, the people you keep or don't keep, etc. are your companions. And those do affect the outcome and the story as a whole. So it, think of it as a Mass Effect type game, a lot of fetch quests, a lot of other things. But overall, the story structure and narrative is actually pretty good. It's a little above average, so I'm giving this a 6 out of 10. So with the story out of the way, now let's talk graphics. Graphics on this game are kind of a mixed bag. Uh, character animations can be a little stiff. Um, combat animations are actually pretty fluid for the most part. They're not terrible. Um, graphically, as far as like color palettes and stuff, the game is kind of in that drab area. It's a lot of grays, a lot of browns, a lot of red. Very little color variance in there, and that's, that's kind of depressing. But given the atmosphere of the game, it kind of makes sense. But still a little more pizzazz in the color would have been nice. A little more neon signs or something. Just something to add a little more color depth to it. Um, character animations overall are pretty good for the most part. Some characters look a little more stiff than others, but that's just my take on it. So overall, I'm going to give this a 7 out of 10. Um, because the graphics kind of work in the, the favor of the setting. But they also detract a little bit because of the lack of variety. Though there is some variety later in the game. So next up we have sound. Uh, sound here is going to be, uh, again, it's kind of a mixed bag. Um, it's very forgettable as far as the music. It, the music shifts when you enter battle, you know, leave battle, etc. That kind of stuff. You know, Most of what you would expect in a third person action RPG. My gripe with the sound is it's just kind of forgettable. It, there's no standout track. There's nothing that really makes me want to sit here and listen to it outside of the game. It's in the game. It's just kind of there. It's not terrible. I'm not. It doesn't grate my ears, but it also doesn't intrigue me and drag me into the the world more, which is what I like in my role playing games. Um, voice acting is ranges from decent to pretty good. There, there's not anything that really makes me want to shut off the voice acting altogether, you know. Uh, so that to me is always a good range because I've played some games, <clears throat> Star Ocean 4, that have some characters that you just wish you could shut the hell up at, and you can't. So for me, I would say overall the sound and stuff is going to get pretty much like a 6 out of 10. It's not great, it's not terrible. It, and then the solid, more solid voice acting gives it just a notch above that regular normal five to me. So next up, we have gameplay. The crux and the meat of the potatoes of any game. Gameplay. Gameplay is average at best. Um, you have three combat styles you can use. You have one that involves a staff. Sickle and pistol or knife and pistol, whatever you want to call it, and one of those is a mason shield. Action oriented, but you're doing a lot more, it's a lot of dodging, it's a very one click, two click kind of combat. Swing a couple of times with the right mouse button, I played this on PC. Um, click a couple of times on the left mouse button, dodge with the right. And that's pretty much your combat. And then you have like a secondary skill that you can use. Like, you know, it's, uh, I think defaultly it's left control is for like a sweeping area with the staff. The other one for your sh uh, shield, that's the block. And then it's your pistol on your knife and sh uh, gun combo. That is pretty much what combat boils down to. There's not, weapons can be upgraded and that kind of stuff, but there's not a lot of variety in there. Now, as a Technomancer, you have certain powers at your disposal that revolve around electricity and that kind of stuff. But to me, overall, the, the gameplay on that aspect is average. 
Where this game drags me down more, though, is, oh my god, is there backtracking to no damn end. And there is a lot of it. If you do side quests, anything outside the main quest, man, that backtracking is going to kill you. There's no quick travel. None of it. And if you have the wrong people in your party for, say, a side character quest or any of that stuff, you got to go back all the way to the area you're in to reevaluate your party. That, to me, is just, oh, it so drags down the game. There's no advanced time in the game, like, say, in The Witcher, where you basically just press R and you can pretty much rest wherever the hell you want and just tell it to go forward however, however long. There's none of that. You literally have to go find your bed or an inn or what have you and rest. And that is more tr backtracking usually, which th again, it just, it drags down the gameplay and it feels like a lot of padding. So for this category, this game's only getting a four out of 10 because the, the mediocreness of the combat is fine. That would have been a five out of 10 at most, but that backtracking, oh my god, that that just drags this game down so much because of how often you have to do it. And so next up, we have the category that is makes this these reviews different is customer care. Now I am only speaking on the version I have played, which is on Windows PC side. I had no bugs, no crashes, none of that on my playthrough of the Technomancer. I did not f personally find any issues with any wonky pre-orders. I did not find any issues with experience, any game breaking bugs on my end. So I can't really not give this in a customer care aspect, a 10 out of 10. So what does that bring the Technomancer to for an overall score? The overall score for the Technomancer is at 33. It's just an above average game. It's just an above average uh, action RPG in the vein of, say, Mass Effect or various other games in that ilk. Is it a good game? It's an alright game. It, it's not terrible. I've played a whole lot worse. But there are just certain things like the, the constant back travel and no fast travel at all that really hurt this game. Um, but other than that, like if you can pick this up on sale, I do not see why you wouldn't at least get some type of enjoyment out of this game. Um, it is not as bad as some people have made it out to be, but it's not as good as some people have made it out to be either. It's just an average and slightly above average. So with that being said, you guys know what to do. Rate it, subscribe, and well, peace out.